What's good, everybody? This is your Little Spray John Peterson here, and welcome back to History of Yu Gi Oh! Today we will be tackling Starter Deck Yu Gi Evolution, released on, on March 1st, 2004. Without further delay, let's get right into this 50 card dog pile. First off, for the monsters, we've got Dark Magician, a Dark Attribute Level 7 Spellcaster type monster with 2500 attack and 2100 defense. The ultimate wizard in terms of attack and defense. Next we got now most of the cards are about the same as in the first, but with some new fate but with some fresh faces. I kinda of forgot to bring that up. Next we got Mystical Elf, a light attribute level four spellcaster monster with eight hundred attack and two thousand defense. Delicate elf that lacks offense but has terrific defense backed by a mystic power. Barrel Imp, Green type, level 4, dark attribute, 1300, 1400, painful imp that lurks in the darkness, waiting to attack and pounce on an unwary enemy. <laughs> Wing Dragon, Guardian of the Fortress, Dragon Monster, you know what, I'll just go through the name and descriptions for the uh, redos. Dark Magician, the ultimate wizard in terms of attack and defense, Mystical Elf, a delicate elf that Lacks offense, but has a terrific defense backed by mystical power. Feral Imp, a playful little imp that lurks in the dark, waiting to attack an unwary enemy. And here's what kills me. This card's name in English is Feral Imp, yet in Japanese it's Gremlin. Uh, leave a comment and tell me what's up with the uh, name change, because Gremlin seems more apropos if you ask me. Wind Dragon, Guardian of the Fortress number 1, a dragon commonly found guarding mountain fortresses. Its signature attack is a sleeping dive from out of the blue. Summon Skull, a fiend with dark powers for confusing the enemy. Among the fiend-type monsters, this monster boasts considerable force, and is always treated as an archfiend. <laughs> Beaver Warrior, what this creature lacks in size that makes up for in defense. And so I'm battling in the prairies. Guy of the Fierce Knight, a knight whose horse travels faster than the wind. His battle strength is the first to be reckoned with. Celtic Guardian, an elf who learned to wield a sword. His, he baffles enemies with lightning quick strikes. Great White, a great white shark with razor sharp teeth. Giant Soldier of Stone. A giant warrior made of stone, a punch from this creature has earth-shaking results. Mystic Clown, nothing can stop the mad dash of the attack of this powerful creature. Neo the, the Magic Swordsman, a dimensional drifter, who not only practices sorcery, but is also a sword and martial arts expert. Now we got some new forever friends. Starting with Gazelle, the king of mythical beasts. A Earth Attribute Level 4 Beast Type Monster with 1500 Attack and 1200 Defense. This monster moves so fast that it looks like an illusion to mortal eyes, and this card is always treated as a Phantom Beast or Genju Monster. Warrior de Greffer. And I know some of you are going to get on my case saying it's pronounced Die Greffer, you uncultured swine. Well, it's my video. I pronounce things however the hell I want. This war is an Earth Attribute Level 4 Warrior type monster with 1700 attack and 1600 defense. The warrior who can manipulate dragons. Nobody knows his mysterious past. Dark Blade. A Dark Attribute Level 4 Warrior type monster with 1800 attack and 1500 defense. They say he is a dragon manipulating warrior from the Dark World. His attack is tremendous, using his great swords with vicious power. Wall of Illusion. If this card is attacked by a monster, upon damage calculation, return that monster to the hand. Karibo. During your opponent's turn, at damage calc, you can discard this card. You take no battle damage from that battle. Giant Rat. This is another uh, new monster. It is a Earth Attribute beast, Level 4 Beast type monster with, one th with 1400 attack. Now 1,450 defense. 
When this card is destroyed by battle and sent to the graveyard, you can special summon one earth monster at 1500 or less attack from an attack position. In Link Evolution, which I have on the Switch, by the way, that monster was a bloody godsend! God bless you, giant rat. Sonic Bird. When this card is normal or flip summon, you can add one spiritual spell from your deck to your hand. Zombie of the Dark. A dark attribute level 4 warrior type monster with 2100 attack and 500 defense. Textbook Glass Cannon. This card cannot attack your opponent directly. If this card destroys a monster by battle, the card loses 200 attack. Royal Magical Library. Whoa, 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 Kimosabe. Whoa. Not even there yet. It is a light attribute level 4 spellcaster type monster with not a single attack but 2,000 defense. Each time a spell card is activated, place one spell card on this counter. Max when the spell resolves. Maximum of three. You can remove three spell counters from this card. Draw one card. Black Lust now we got Black Luster Soldier. Another ace card of one Yugi Moto. It is a Earth Attribute Level 8 Warrior Monster whose ritual spell is Black Luster Ritual. It has 3,000 attack, 2,500 defense, and is actually quite the pretty boy under that helmet. No, seriously. If you thought Dark Magician here had fangirls galore, you have not seen this guy sans armor. Dude. You know how Dark Magician has... A whole lot of fangirls. I think Black Luster Soldier here is in the running for just as many. <sighs> if not more fangirls. Now we got Dark Hole. Destroy all monsters on the field. Dying Keto, the Cure Master. Increase life points by a thousand. Fissure. Destroy one monster with the lowest attack. Monster Reborn. Target one monster in either player's grave and summon it. Change of heart. Target one monster your opponent controls and take control of it. Still banned. Same with Last Will. You know, if your monster is destroyed, you can special summon a monster with 1500 or less attack. Then shuffle. Card destruction. Discard, then draw same number. Remove trap. Select one. One face up spell, trap, and destroy it. The Reliable Guardian. Raise monsters defense by 700. Next, we got a new way to inflict a storm. Axe of Despair, which, shock of shocks, is related to the Archfiends. Equipped monster gains a thousand attack, and when it's sent to the grave, you can tribute one monster and place the card on top of your deck. Level at Nuzla, same attack, 300 points shy, but same, uh, cost, same side effect, different cost. Next we got MST, target one, one spell on a trap, and Thanos it. And then we got Mystical Plasma Zone. Increase the attack of all dark monsters by 500 and decrease their defense by 400. Next up we got Swords of Revealing Light. Or, for those of you who watch the subs, Sealing Swords of Light. When this card is activated, even monsters can't declare an attack for three turns. Then we got Pot of Greed. And everyone and their mother knows what that card does and why it's banned. And why people like me hate Exodia decks. Seriously, those decks are the last Jedi of modern Yu-Gi-Oh. Nobody asked for them. Nobody bloody wanted them. <sighs> Sorry. Sorry. It's just... I hecking hate them. A lot. Next we got Trap Hole, summons a monster with 1,000 or more attack. That monster gets yeeted. Wabaku, protect monster and no battle damage. Magic Jammer, discard a card, negate a spell, destroy it. Oh, what am I doing? What am I doing, man? What am I doing? Seven Tools of the Bandit, pay 1,000, yeet a, count, yeet a trap card. All right. Spellbinding Circle. Activate this card by targeting a monster. It can't attack or change its battle position. And when the monster is yeeted, 
The seal, the hexagon curse, is yeeted. The eye of truth. Opponent must keep their hands revealed at, you know, once a turn. If they have a spell, they gain a thousand life points. Backup soldier. Five or more monsters in the graveyard. Target three non-effect monsters. Seriously, ten you guys need that card. For fifteen hundred or less attack, and add them to your hand. Shift. When your opponent targets exactly one monster and no other cards for an attack or a spell card effect, trap effect. So target another monster you control that would be appropriate for that target. And then it's the new target. Disappear. Banish one monster from your card. Right from your opponent's graveyard. And Rageki Break. Discard one card. Target a card. Destroy it. And there you go, folks. Starter Deck Yugi Evolution. Released March 1st. 2004. If you like what you saw, hit the like button, share with your friends, and subscribe with those notifications turned on. This has been your Lethal Spark John Peterson telling you all to take it easy. Have a good one.